Student athletes have options when it comes to sharing their highlight reels. With the pandemic, we wondered how they set themselves up for success. We caught up with trailblazers who hope to play beyond high school. We have um, like cameras installed um, that videotape the meets and stuff, and they're actually live streamed. So anyone that wants to watch it can go in and watch it as it's happening, or and they're recorded for later. So whoever there's it's sent to, you can watch well, it. Each game, I just pick out anything noticeable that I do, so I can add it to my film. They give me some looks from colleges. I've used some of the clips from my past two years. I'm a junior, so I have freshman and sophomore, but uh, I also play club soccer. So I also put some of the club um, clips in there. So it helps out club just because I have an extra set of games um, to put out there. Recruiters rely heavily on student highlight reels. Whenever we uh, talk to someone, that's the first thing a coach say, if you've got something on huddle that you can send us, so that we can look at it. Even if athletes have no highlights, colleges have alternate ways to find athletes. You know, I think it depends on the, on the sport. Uh, if they don't play, um, it kind of depends on what their history has been. You know, what kind of player were they in the past? What kind of information does the coach have about them? Who do they have that they can call that can give them a reference, um, you know, a coach or whatnot? And then I guess it has what kind of footage you have, what kind of film do you have on yourself that they can look at and evaluate. So there's still a means to be looked at uh, if they're not playing. Uh, so it, it really based on each coach and, and how many kids they need on their team and, and whatnot. So if you're a good player, coach is going to find you. And uh, if you've got backup film, if you've got a, a coach that can vouch for you, you know, you're still in good shape and uh, to be get to be seen. Athletes found the time to work to gain attention from recruiters. I think it's just kind of trying to grow off the court, like out of school, trying to do work on my own. Like I try to go run, I try to play, um, I try to go play and shoot whenever I can. And it's just kind of growing on my own rather than depending as much on the court. Cause I could be gone for two weeks all of a sudden if I'm in close contact. So obviously I just want to be able to maintain it on my own. It hasn't really changed much for me just because I can still go on my own, run, work out. Not being able to go to gym does like affect it a little bit, but I've been able to stay motivated for the most part doing at-home workouts and doing what I need. Even with the pandemic, Trailblazers are still finding safe ways to play their sports. Um, so whenever we're outside the pool on the deck, we wear a mask and stay six feet apart. And when we're swimming, we stay on opposite sides of the pool, so there's um, no one's within six feet. But with basketball, for sure, Coach Lee's being really careful with um, our gators to make sure we can just pull them right up. As soon as we're off gameplay, we have them up. We're, like, distancing as much as we can, except for when we're in a drill. That's the only time our masks or our gators come off or we're, like, within six feet of each other. Other than that, I feel like we're, being, we're doing a good job, like, kind of trying to be as safe as we can. Although this year might be different, Students still hope to play beyond high school. Play my three years, have my fun, hopefully do what, or have the great outcomes that I'm hoping for. Um, I don't know if I'm planning on playing in college, um, like as a uh, NCAA. I know like in the future I'll always play soccer, um, whether it's just with friends to have fun. But I'm not 100% sure exactly what I want to do for it. Though highlight reels might be a bit different this year, they still help student-athletes score their goals. I'm Josh Alpern for Vanguard TV.